Today we're talking all about artificial intelligence for Facebook ads. Whoa. What's happening? Okay, <laughs> that was strange. There's a lot of talks on the internet about AI. Why AI? Where are AI? When AI? How AI? What is AI? It's gotten to a point where it's almost overwhelming. There's a ton of new AI tools coming out every single day. And with so much talk about this topic, a major issue that I personally ran into was which of these AI tools do I really need to look into? And which of these tools are just pure bullshit, especially when it comes to Facebook ads. So in today's video, I wanna share with you all my top five AI tools that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. And I feel like every brand, agency, or even creative strategist should ideally integrate these tools to a certain extent within their workflow to create high-performing Facebook ads. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mo. I'm a lawyer turned creative strategist, and I now run a creative agency where we help e-com brands create potent, high-performing ad creatives that sell. If you're a business that needs ads, like ads that perform, cool. So starting at number five, this is, <laughs> this is no surprise. I literally use this tool every single day. I mean, this tool is so heavily integrated into my workflow that I've actually got three premium subscriptions because I always tend to go beyond my usage limits. And yes, it's ChatGPT. But did you know that you can now access the internet using ChatGPT for free? For example, in this video, you can see I prompt ChatGPT to help me find the features and benefits of a product using just a website link. This is a really simple use case example, but there's so much more advanced stuff that you can do with ChatGPT when it's got access to the internet. If you haven't already installed this, it's super simple. First of all, you're going to need a Chrome browser and head over to the Chrome web store and look for web chat GPT. Once you've got the extension, go ahead and install it. And that's it. Your chat GPT now has access to the internet. The possibilities now are endless. If you want to learn more about how to use chat GPT to generate ad scripts, I've actually got a video where I run you through my whole process and even share the results of a chat GPT generated ad script. Link to the video in the description below. Tool number four. A large number of your audiences are gonna watch your ads with sound off. And if in 2023, you're still running ads without subtitles, you are definitely leaving a lot of money on the table. Subtitles are super important, but have you ever wondered how to get these dynamic subtitles that you see on a lot of YouTube videos, including mine, and even on certain ads? Well, to get these subtitles, you need to hire a super creative, super expensive, super talented video editor that's gonna charge you thousands and thousands of dollars a month, or you can use tools like VDIO or Descript to do the same. The choice is yours. <laughs> like if you're creating ads for your own brand, definitely leverage these two tools because they will make your video editing process super easy and super simple. I've got a video where I analyze competitor ads and their neuro-linguistic programming using Descript. Video link is going to be in the description below. I would urge you to go ahead and watch that tutorial. And now it's time for tool number three, and it's all about AI-generated voiceovers. It generates ultra-realistic voiceovers. We've been using this for ads, for my YouTube videos, and even for training materials internally within the company. In our extraordinary age of technological advancements, Using the TikTok voiceover for advertisements seems rather outdated. Consider the impressive alternative of Eleven Labs, providing ultra-realistic soundscapes for your ads. Mo and his skilled team have certainly adopted this approach crafting their successful Facebook ads with it. Another platform that is similar to Eleven Labs is Synthesia, but it hasn't really evolved to a state where we can use it for ads. But if things do change, I will update you guys on the channel. At number two comes my favorite tool when it comes to researching, ideating, and creating winning Facebook ads. The feature I love the most about this tool is the AI search bar. I can literally type in a keyword and find ads relevant to that niche or that industry with a click of a button. It literally saves me hours and hours of research time. And the tool is called, I'm not kidding you, it's called Foreplay. And it's this library of ad creatives that are saved by basically creative strategists and agency owners and brands and marketers across the globe. It's also got some other really cool features like its own internal AI script generator. And you can also create briefs within Foreplay. Now, when it comes to using Foreplay and analyzing ads, I'll take you back to my video where I use Descript, Foreplay, and a combination of ChatGPT to analyze competitor ad scripts. Again, link in the description below. And last but not the least, tool number one. Now, honestly, you've already seen this in action. It was 
at the start of this video with our hook. Yes, I'm talking about AI generated videos. Now for this particular effect, I'm using Runway ML Gen 1. Now one way that we've integrated AI generated videos is within our video hooks. You will need to test out different methods to actually find a winner. Integrating AI videos within your Facebook ad creation process early on will definitely keep you ahead of your competition and will 100% make you stand out from the crowd. Now the best type of AI generated video hooks that we've seen work well are a combination of obviously weird visuals with a text on screen that either calls out your target audience or generates a high level of curiosity. Let me know in the comment section below if you've tested out AI hooks or if you haven't yet then why not? Now another AI tool that I'm keeping my eye on is called DID. It essentially allows you to turn images into speaking heads. Basically you can take a picture and it starts to speak. I have tested this but I still feel like it's at a very very early stage and I'm really excited for the future of AI. Now I've got a couple more AI related videos on my channel. On my left you've got a video where I show you how to generate AI voiceovers using ChatGPT and on my right I've got the video where I use a combination of full play, Descript and ChatGPT to analyze competitor ads. Don't sleep on artificial intelligence. Go check them out right now. But that's all from me for today. I'll catch you guys in the next one.